Hey everyone, we want to show you where we live and uh, we're going to give you a tour of the RV. So why don't you come on in and uh, we'll show you around. First person who normally greets our guests is our little dog Kenya and we're, we're in love with her. She's an awesome dog. And uh, also, let's, why don't you meet the family? Uh, this is my daughter Abigail. Hey. And we've got Noah over here. And then Becca. Hi. And of course, my lovely wife Beth. And she's going to be guiding you through the rest of the tour here. I'm going to start in the front, though, kind of explain some of the things here for you. Um, this is, uh, Beth has made this little thing to go over to the steering wheel, which is kind of cool. A lot of RVers do this, but it, we've got a little table here and uh, a lamp, which is kind of nice, makes it a little bit more homey. Uh, and then we've over here, we've got a lot of the uh, uh, buttons and stuff that we need to uh, keep the RV going. We've got the leveling jacks over here and cruise control and, and thing to put the, the RV in drive and that type of thing. Uh, this is a backup camera that we have here and uh, it works out really nice because we're able to uh, look at behind us when we flat tow and then we've also got a motorcycle on the back. Of course, this is the television, um, and then the head end for the television, the stereo, and the uh, uh, the direct TV, and that type of thing. Um, so that's pretty much the front. Obviously, these seats uh, turn around uh, when we drive. It would be pretty difficult to drive the RV if they were faced this way. <laughs> so I'm going to let Beth take you through the rest of the RV and kind of show you some cabinets and stuff like that. Okay. Um, first of all, I want to tell you where the kids sleep. Um, that's something people are always interested to hear. Um, Becca sleeps on this couch right here. It jackknifes out and she's got a curtain that hangs. She has her own little private Taj Mahal area in there. So, um, And then Abby and Noah sleep over here. This folds out into a, um, an air mattress that's about a queen size. And so they share that. And then um, Ben moves all these chairs and sleeps right underneath the table. And um, which is you know fine it's cozy for him he's getting a little he's getting a little tall for it but it works and um, one fun thing I forgot to share is that um, we we have lived in this RV for almost four years and I was feeling like tired of it looking like an RV so I decided Jay was gone on a long weekend and um, painted the entire RV and made curtains so that's been fun so you can take a peek at all that it just feels a little more like a home um, so I'm going to show you a little bit behind the scenes and some of the cabinets and how we make this all work. It's kind of crazy, but um, somehow we do it. This is the homeschool area. So Becca, Abby, and Noah's books are all up here. And um, you know, people have wondered, you know, do we do things online? But um, we just love, we love having books. So we fill up all that space. And then Ben's got his over here. This is his old area. His man... <laughs> that is very organized that. Too. but he's got all his posters and you know he tries to make it personal and creative so um, this is all his area and then um, okay our kitchen which you know is actually our homeschool room and the bedroom and it's all kind of one big area but this is our convection oven and um, obviously it's not huge it's about the size of a microwave so I do have a roaster and a crock pot and all kinds of other goodies that help us cook meals so this is our um, stove top. So there's three burners and this you can remove also. So we kind of have to shift some things when we cook dinners. And um, this is our pantry. And oh, do I miss my pantry? <laughs> because we are, we are big eaters and so we kind of have to layer things in, in these containers that help fit everything. And, I do have a couple of other overflow areas in these cabinets um, across the room, but um, I can show you those in a second. These are just typical drawers that we fit miscellaneous stuff in, um, pots and pans, and and then this up here is um, crock pot, rice cooker, Vitamix, and over here we have spices and whatnot over there and then um, in these cabinets it's just cups and bowls and all of our plates and which we are a fan of paper because we do not have a dishwasher um, and so it makes it a lot easier so um, oh I also wanted to show you our fridge which has been kind of fun because we used to have 
the typical RV fridge and ours started going bad and um, we were able to fit a real real size fridge in here so that's been fun because we can actually shop at Costco and buy more food so I have to shop less often which has been great but um, so that's and it makes a ton of ice <laughs> I know, which is which huge. Our, our other we always used to run out of ice, so yep. this is awesome, just tons of ice. Yeah, our other one did not make any, it didn't even keep anything cold, so this has been nice. But this is our bathroom, and it's gonna be a little bit tight coming in here, but um, this is where we all get ready. This is our medicine cabinet, our shower's in the corner, which is a little hard to get to from your angle here, but, and then um, our, let me get out of here. And that's our toilet area, which um, we just hung a bunch of fun pictures up in there. Places we've been, things we've seen. Okay, so back here is our bedroom. And um, obviously this is where Jay and I sleep, but the kids also keep a lot of their things back here. So I'll show you all that too. Um, Abby and Noah keep all their clothing in these bins. And this is Becca's area underneath here goes all the way down. Jay, who knows what <laughs> that sure looks that. like. <laughs> I'm a little less uh, organized than Ben is. He but. likes to shove. <laughs> I get busy. This is our coat closet. And so we obviously don't have all of our coats. Our winter things are underneath the RV and bins, but right now this is the um, spring coats and stuff. And this is our, this is our closet for all six of us. And so I, have almost half of it. So whoops. <laughs> um. This is the uh, the office area where uh, we do all, I do all the ministry work. Uh, it's where I hang out for uh, a lot of my time. Um, and then we've done a, like Beth said, done a bunch of redecorating. So we've put some pictures up of just different places that we've been around the country, and it's fun to display those things. Um, sometimes people ask about you know, how we get internet. Uh, we've got a, a router here. And uh, we've got a Sprint card that basically uh, a broadband card that plugs into the Cradle Point router. So we have a hotspot for the whole RV, and we all of our computers can get on that. So that works really well. The other thing that's back here um, that is uh, really nice is we've got a dryer up here. We put this in here a couple years ago, and then we've got the washing machine down here. Um, which is really loud. When it spins and I'm on the phone, I can hardly talk. <laughs> so it's a blessing and a curse, but it's really nice to have these built in to the RV. We don't have to find laundromats and that type of thing. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. And we've got, you can see the wall over here where we've kind of done some pictures of the kids and, mm -hmm. and that type of thing. And there's storage underneath the bed, which we don't have to get to, but it's just deep storage and storage all back there. We've got all of our books and miscellaneous stuff so there's lots of cabinets in this place which makes it nice when you live in this amount of space yeah so that's pretty much it we appreciate you taking the time to watch this and uh, thanks for taking a tour of our home yeah thanks a lot <laughs>